Hey people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you like the, the new intro. Um, so today, I'm just gonna be doing a little overview of the new Nike React Gatos. Um, I'm not gonna really do an unboxing because you just, oop, and there's the shoes. So that's the unboxing portion of it. These are the new Nike React Gatos. I just wanted to do a quick review on them because um, I just got them for my indoor season. And they're a little dirty because I already had to play a game in them, but so far, I like them. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over uh, just a couple things that I do like and I don't like about uh, the Nike React Gatos. And yeah, if my math was right, it shouldn't be that big, that long of a video. So yeah, and then stay tuned. I'm gonna try them on and try to do some tricks. Also, before we start, if you could leave a like and comment below and possibly subscribe, that'd be really appreciated. So the Nike React Gatos are Nike's newest indoor iteration to their soccer lineup. Technically, these are geared towards futsal players and basically the difference between that and indoor soccer is that um, futsal players use like a different ball that doesn't really bounce as high. But basically, futsal is like small side games um, on a court and they use like a softer ball. Nike added this like new technology on the bottom, which is supposed to um, help with control and futsal players are supposed to um, control the ball a lot with the bottom of their foot. So these nubs are supposed to come out a little bit and um, offer some some extra control, I guess. When I was wearing these, I, I, I really did not feel them at all. It's very small how much they protrude. So um, in my eyes, it's, it's a little bit of a gimmick, but it's cool that they're innovating, I guess, because there's nothing else like this on the market currently. So what I do like about this shoe, I was a little skeptical at first, being that this whole upper is fly knit. Uh, it's like fabric material and my other shoe is like synthetic material. I was concerned that it was gonna rip, but Nike added this plastic toe cup right here and it kind of protects the fabric from ripping cause, cause as you can see, uh, I dragged my feet a little bit and it ripped on my, or started to rip on my other shoe, but this is like a like plasticky material. So being that this is fabric, I was a little concerned. Though, um, it seems like they've held up pretty well. I, I've only played it in one game. Nike also included their React type foam in the heel portion of the shoe. And I have to say that they actually are very comfortable. And I've only worn these a couple times, but I haven't had a problem really with breaking them in that much. Uh, they did feel a little different than my uh, Hyper Venoms, but um, give it some time and I, I think they'll break in pretty nicely. Just one thing to point out, uh, this upper is way thicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like very fabricy and not so rigid, but it's got some some structure to it, which is nice. There's a uh, there's like an extra lining inside that keeps your foot secure. And yeah, so a couple of things I don't like about the shoe is that it's price pointed at one hundred and forty dollars, which is a lot compared to every other like indoor shoe. I get it; they're putting in new technology and stuff like that. Um, but most indoor shoes that get the job done, they are anywhere from 50 to $80. And this being $140 is, is a big jump, um, especially for people that just need like indoor shoes. Another thing to keep in mind is um, this heel cup is a little tall, so it, it kind of bit into my ankle a little bit. Not too bad, I just need to break them in. Um, so I don't, I don't really think that's a gripe to be concerned about. Um, although right here where this, uh, where the tongue kind of folds. I experienced a little bit of pressure and discomfort when I was playing the game and lacing them up. And I even untied them to like loosen it up and it's still I still experience the same stuff. So um, it's just a little tight there and I'm sure it'll stretch out, the fly knit will stretch out over time. Um, and yeah, overall, I think these are a great pair of shoes. Um, price point is a lot for these shoes, but I think they're gonna last a quite a long time, so I didn't mind spending the money for them. And I think they look sick, and they're pretty versatile too, because I wore them um, to the gym to go lifting and stuff like that. So overall, I like the shoes. They're breathable, not too heavy, a little expensive, but they work. So I'm gonna do a quick little like try on thing that you'll see right now, and try That's to life. do some tricks and stuff, I guess. So yeah. enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah. Hey, 
I'm on vacation, but I need a break from all of these snakes and all of these hoes. Over your hoodie to match with the ring, it cost me like six. You know how it goes. All of my friends just showing true colors. I'm taking them out, they turn into foes. I knew it's simple, just switch for a girl who don't even fuck with them. That shit really cold. Ain't for the heads up, I ain't for the dome. Talking that shit, told them leave me alone. Oh, oh, so you're sorry. good. Yo, I am so sorry. <laughs> you're good, bro. Don't worry about it. Hey, yeah, why are you talking? You looking irrelevant. I'm making checks, the shit really heaven. Say you talking shit while I'm here kicking back, making money. And that is really the end of it. I was just saving while others are spending it. This ain't no rolly, it's a ruby pendant. I'm not with a label, I'm with independent. I don't like to share any pop, but I meant that I don't tell a lie to that shit how I tell it. And I'ma just tell it, pen it how I see it. Just wait a few months and you see me on genius. Cause I be creative, they be trying to steal it. They're playing it cool, but Loki always fiend it. I want the life that I was always dreaming. Just give a few months, I promise I'ma see it. I ain't for the head, I got these rappers bleeding. Jump shot, MVP of the year, top dog out of all of my peers. Me and Triple on some shit, never fear. We go crazy like her DMP gear. Catch me flexing like we actually care. Talk that shit up to my face if you dare. Shoot the one I leave a vision impaired. Rapid fire like we dropping the snare. Drop a boss, I swear for me, really rare. But if you press me, then I don't really care. If you press me, then I don't really. <laughs> and no tune for your head top, so watch how you speak on my name. Yeah?